Ritu and welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the Bengali style sari draping. It is known as the Art Pore Shari in Bengali. So I will show you step by step how you can drape a sari in the Bengali way and also how you can style it with jewelry. So I'm going to share a whole Bengali look with you. I wanted to do something like this on my channel for a very long time and this Durga Puja, I decided to do a Bengali style sari draping video. I hope you enjoy watching it. So let's get started. I'm starting off with a sari shape wear. Now when it comes to draping any kind of saris, whether it be Bengali style or the basic sari draping, always go for a good quality sari shape where it's gonna give you a really nice shape. The drape of the sari is gonna fall really beautifully on your body. So always invest in a good quality sari shape wear. You can invest in a neutral or a beige colored sari shape wear so that you can wear it with almost all kind of saris. For this video, I wanted to go for a really traditional looking Bengali style sari draping. So I chose a sari which is a white sari with red borders. That is the basic Bengali traditional sari which I ordered from Mintra. So let's start with the sari drape. If you are a beginner to sari draping, start with wearing heels so that you can decide the length of the sari and drape your sari accordingly. While draping a sari, always remember this one important tip. It starts from the right side and goes towards the left. So if you remember this rule, you are never going to mess up the sari draping process. Unless you are trying to achieve some kind of a different look or you are trying out different types of sari draping, the basic sari draping starts from the right and goes towards the left. So this is the anchor of the sari, so we have to start draping it from the other end. So from the right side, I'll be tucking it in until one round is over. Make sure that the sari length is not too long or not too short. So it will be just the height that your toes are visible and you have to start tucking it in. So I'm done tucking the sari once around and now I'm gonna start with the anchor of the sari. So in case of a traditional Bengali style sari draping, you have to keep the anchor of the sari a bit long. Now when it comes to making the pleats on the archer, what you have to keep in mind is the border of the sari should be vertically on your body. So when you finish with tucking your sari once, you have to take this part of the sari and go towards the archer and I'll tell you why. So what I did was I went to the archer like this and then we're gonna hold the archer like this. So this border is gonna go vertically on your body in case of a Bengali style sari draping. So start the pleats from here and fold it like this and start making the pleats. So I'm going to continue making the pleats and arrange it throughout the length of the archal. So in case of basic sari draping, what we do is we take the archal and give it one round and then take it over our shoulder. In this case, because it's a Bengali style sari draping, what we're gonna do is we're not gonna give the archal one round, we're just gonna take it from the front and put it on top of our shoulders. You can also pin it up at this stage if you want to keep the plates in place. You have to decide the height of the archal at this stage. So after you're done deciding the height of the archal, we are going to start pleating this part of the sari. And for pleating this part of the sari, you have to give it broader pleats. In case of normal sari draping, we keep the plates thin, not that broad. But in this case, it has to go broad starting from this part of the body till here. So it will cover the whole front portion of your body. So I'm going to continue making the broader pleats. And tuck it in neatly. So as I'm done tucking the pleats of the sari here, now I'll be pinning the archal in place. So I have this golden sari pin which I'm gonna use to pin the archal in place. And while pinning the sari in place, keep in mind that this portion of the sari has to go at the back and you have to tuck it here. So that much space should be there when you pin the archal in place. Now you have to take this part of the sari and tuck it at the back. Now we'll take the loose end of the archal and make a loop at the back and bring it forward. So you can adjust the loop so that it looks clean and now you can pin it at the front. So this completes the draping of the sari and this is how it's going to look with a vertical border on the front and a loop at the back. I had so much fun draping the sari, and it turned out quite well. So now let's start with the jewelry. Because this is a traditional Bengali style sari drape, I decided to go with some heavy golden jewelry. So I'm going with this neck piece. It also comes with its earrings. So these are the earrings. It also comes with a chain that you can attach on your hair. 
So generally with this kind of an earring which has a hook over here that you can attach on your hair uh, Generally people do a middle parting and then they attach this thing It will go like this on both the sides but I'm not very comfortable with middle parting And I have hair clips that I'll be using to attach this hook uh, over here on my hair So I'm gonna attach it with this so that's how it turned out. I just pinned it here with a black hairpin so that it's not very visible. And I did the same on the other side and I'll be just leaving my hair open like this. And don't want to tie it up today. And now we'll be going with the bangles. So I have a bunch of golden bangles. I'm going to just arrange it and put it on. Putting it on. So I'll also be going with a bindi. For the makeup, I went with a black winged liner and kept the eyes neutral because I went with a red lip and a red bindi. So that's the final look with a Bengali style sari drape and jewellery. I tried this kind of a traditional Bengali sari look for the first time myself and enjoyed the whole process of draping the sari, styling it with jewellery and achieving this final look. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope you learned a new way to drape a sari and love the Bengali draping style. If you try out the Bengali style sari draping, do let me know in the comments or on my Instagram. And I would love for you to join this community and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And I will see you soon.